Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin and today we're going to be doing the NVIDIA GTX 980. This guy right here. And we're going to be putting him up against the previous flagship from NVIDIA, which is of course the GTX 780 Ti. So this one should be quite interesting. Um, obviously NVIDIA was going for kind of like different things with these two cards. Uh, the 780 Ti was just all out performance. Um, they kind of threw power consumption, temperatures, uh, like thermal efficiency and that all out the window and just wanted something that would uh, beat the 290X, which they did do. And uh, of course these new GDX 980s, as a lot of you probably know already, have uh, NVIDIA's kind of taken a step back and kind of looked more at uh, efficiency type things, both thermally and as far as power goes. Um, as you can see by this one just having twin 6-pin power adapters to the 780 Ti having uh, twin 8-pin power adapters. Anyways, we're going to run through this one kind of quickly because it's a bit late, but I like, you, uh, like putting out videos for you guys anyway. Um, so first, let's talk about the GPUs. Uh, completely different ones. So, this uh, 980 right here. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> it has the uh, GM204 Maxwell GPU in it. Uh, that is still on the 28 nanometer manufacturing process. A lot of people were a bit upset by that. Um, if you're looking for a 20 nanometer GPU, you're probably going to have to wait till the AMD 300 series. And of course, the 780 Ti, which has the uh, GK110 Kepler GPU in it. Now, these cards also have uh, different GPU speeds. So, uh, they both feature GPU Boost 2.0. So, uh, the 980 I have with me, which is the reference one, uh, that went up to uh, 1,227 megahertz, was the highest boost clock it would go up to. And uh, the Windforce 780 Ti I have went up to 1,150, which is quite high. Uh, for a 780 Ti, out of the box anyways. Um, so that's good too. It's also good uh, to note that this Windforce 780 Ti is the fastest card I've actually ever tested on a Tech Showdown. So uh, it is the king of all the GPUs I have tested. Now, they do have different memory in them. So the new 980 is coming with 4 gigabytes of GDDR5. That's at 7,010 megahertz. And it's on a 256-bit memory bus, whereas the outgoing... Whoa! Don't want to knock over a 780 Ti. Uh, <laughs> the outgoing uh, Windforce 780 Ti, uh, well, 780 Ti in general, has uh, 3 gigabytes of GDDR5. That's at 7,000 megahertz, but that's on a 384-bit memory bus. Now, don't worry, um, we're not going to get into the features because this video will go on forever, but the 256-bit memory bus of the 980 isn't a downgrade because of some of the new features NVIDIA has included with the 980 and 970 um, with basically better memory compression and caching. So don't worry about that. Now, there's a difference in coolers as well. Uh, oh, we'll start out with that. 780 Ti this time. So this is the Windforce cooler. Um, been around forever. Uh, definitely not bad by any means at all um, by me saying that it's just it's been basically the same design for a very very long time has their triangle cool technology which is kind of like in the heat sinks uh, it just cries to uh, what would be the best way to put it you can kind of see it in this front one not so much in the back one just direct the airflow um, a little bit more across the heat pipes but yeah, triple fan design um, they've been using this for a long time and it, it always has proved itself to be an excellent cooler no matter what card they put it on the 980 this is the reference so if this who's seen this style of cooler before it's because it's been around for a while too um, has the dark fins on it just like the reference 780 ti uh, that you can see through the polycarbonate window and all the rest of it just aluminium very nice looking probably the best reference cooler i've seen this GeForce logo on the side also lights up in green. Uh, the only difference with it is that they've included a backplate this time. It's a nice uh, black backplate, which I really like. This little hump bit here, you can take that off. So if you want to run two of these in SLI, the top card isn't going to be suffocated because of the backplate on the bottom card. Now let's get into the uh, sizes. So we'll start with the 780 Ti Windforce. So this is coming in at uh, 292 millimeters long. 
129 millimeters uh, wide and 43 millimeters tall. So it is quite a long card, nearly 300 millimeters long. So you might need to take out a hard drive cage if you have a uh, on the smaller side of a mid tower. The reference 980 is uh, 268 millimeters long, so not quite as long. Uh, 94 millimeters wide, so it's obviously quite a slim card by comparison, and uh, 40 millimeters tall, so they're about as tall as each other. Super duper quick for you guys. I just want to run through the I/O and show you some of the advantages with the 980. So it has three DisplayPort ports. That means you can run a triple G-Sync monitors of a single 980. Also an HDMI 2.0 port, which means you can run uh, a 4K monitor at 60 hertz and a single DVI-I connection. So those are some big things over the 780 Ti in terms of I.O. Now into the benchmarks, what you all came here to see. How does the reference GDX 980 stack up against uh, the Windforce 780 Ti? It's a bit unfair uh, this time around because it is a non-reference 780 Ti. Um, but I uh, will be getting a non-reference 980 further down the road, so watch out for that video. The other thing I have to note before we get into this is uh, the difference in drivers. The GDX 980 and 970 are on the first set of drivers from NVIDIA, um, whereas you know, the 780 Ti has been around for a while now. So yeah, just keep that in mind also that it's, they're, they're quite new cards and there have only been one release of drivers from NVIDIA since they've come out. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I can't do two of the uh, benchmarks, like I said in the previous 970 video, because uh, the results come out funny just because of the way the memory works in the 980 and 970, but I'll go through all the other ones, like normal. So, at first is uh, Unigen Heaven 4.0. This is a DirectX 11, everything maxed out 1080p. The reference GDX 980 scored 63.8 frames per second average. The Windforce 780 Ti scored 66 frames per second flat. So what's that about? 2.2 frames uh, better for the 780 Ti. Now heaven again. This time in OpenGL. I want to get everything maxed out. 1080p. The reference GDX 980 scored 56.8 frames per second average. The Windforce 780 Ti scored 60.8 frames per second average. So another one there for the 780 Ti. Now into uh, Tomb Raider. This is where it counts. This is uh, everything maxed out without V-Sync. The reference GDX 980 scored 90.3 frames per second average, which is really getting up there in Tomb Raider. The Windforce 780 Ti, on the other hand, scored 99.2 frames per second average. So a full 9 frames better on the 780 Ti. And lastly, Bioshock Infinite, this is on user setting 2. The reference GDX 980 scored 128.8 frames per second average. The Windforce 780 Ti from Gigabyte scored 132 frames per second average. So what can we tell uh, from these benchmarks? Well, as I said, this is a little bit unfair on the 980. They're on the first set of drivers, and this is a reference 980 against a non-reference 780 Ti. Not only that, but this is the fastest non-reference 780 Ti I ever tested. But still, it, it was pretty close in a lot of areas. There was only a couple of frames in it, which is quite amazing um, given just the differences between these cars, like I just explained, and the fact that this is a reference 980. So I'd be really interested to see what happens when we get a non-reference 980 in here. So, with that done, let's talk about temperatures. So, I still did the Fermark test, even though the results came out funny, um, just to see what temperatures-wise they did. So, uh, in Fermark, which I ran for 15 minutes, 4 times MSA, um, 1080p, the reference GDX 980 went up to 79 degrees Celsius. And that was at 46% fan speed. So, that was a, getting up there a little bit. Um, but it is a reference, just blower design. Now, the Windforce 780 Ti, on the other hand, went up to 77 degrees Celsius, and that was at 62% fan speed. So, 2 degrees better there for the 780 Ti, uh, but it was at higher fan speed, and this is a Windforce cooler on there. Um, so, I actually count that as a win for the 980. Uh, even though it was 2 degrees hotter, reason being that it was at much lower fan speed, 
and this is the reference design. So we can already see the thermal efficiency there of the GTX 980. And that leads us into noise. So as always, I'll let you guys judge for yourself. Uh, first up, I'll give you what they sound like at idle. So this is what the uh, GTX 980 reference sounds like at idle. And here is what the WinForce 780 Ti from Gigabyte sounds like at idle. And here they are on load. So this is during uh, the Unigen Valley benchmark. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, that we didn't give the results for because they came out funny. Uh, but I still took the noise from it because they still were on 100% load. Uh, so this is what the reference GDX980 sounds like during that benchmark. And this is what the 780 Ti Windforce sounds like during that benchmark. So, yeah, um, once again, this is the reference 980, so uh, I still thought it was pretty good as far as noise goes. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys judge for yourself like always so you can just see and see what you think uh, was noisier to you or the type of noise. Remember, that is with the side of my case off, so uh, like someone said in the comments, um, when you have your actually case, the side of your case on, uh, it's that noise will be lessened. Now leads us to the conclusion. So which one of these would I recommend? Well, there's not much point anymore because the 780i has pretty much been discontinued, which means that you're probably only going to be able to get it second hand anymore unless you find a retailer that's just trying doing an outlet sale to try get rid of them. Um, but shops will not be getting more of these to the best of my knowledge. But even in saying that, um, with the pricing difference that the 980 is coming in at a very attractive uh, low price for a flagship NVIDIA card, which is brand new, uh, I would say the 980. Sure, in this we saw that in a few of the benchmarks, the 780 Ti beat it up. However, there's uh, more features, new features on the 980. When NVIDIA releases new drivers, obviously it'll be more optimized, so the performance will be increasing. And overall, it's just a newer, better card. And uh, when we see non-reference ones, you know, you'll probably uh, see the main difference there. And I've heard these 980s overclock like absolute crazy. Uh, so all you overclockers out there will probably already be aware of that. But yeah, that's something to take into consideration. And personally, I have really enjoyed using the 980. But yeah, if you can find a really cheap 780 Ti, it's still an incredibly powerful card, and it's still the the Swinforce 780 Ti, still the fastest uh, 980 that I have um, ever tested. But yeah, this showdown, I gotta give it to the GDX uh, 980. It's just the uh, overall more superior card. But if just straight up performance is your thing, and you don't care about anything else, you don't care about new features, you don't care about anything, you just want the fastest possible card then the Gigabyte WinForce 780 Ti wins in that one. Now I hope you guys all enjoyed this first GDX 980 video that I have done. I will be doing more GDX 970 videos and 980 videos uh, further down the road, just depending on which ones I get. And I'll also also be trying to do a uh, uh, AMD R285 video for you guys. And of course the big one, the R9 290 big roundup every one. Uh, against each other to show you guys uh, what order I put them in from all the R9 290s that I tested from the very uh, best to the worst. Well, you guys know what the top three are anyway, so, um, you know, but I'll put all the other ones in order, which will be quite a difficult video to do, but uh, I'll try my best on it. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching uh, this tech showdown. I hope you uh, like the GDX 980 because it is an absolute beast of a card, and I just can't believe the pricing these are coming in at, especially the 970 is just unbelievable. Uh, how cheap it's coming in for a brand new gross card. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next time on Tech Showdown.